Alex. Hello, darling. You look wonderful. <laughs> but where's Dennis? He didn't change his mind. No, I, I asked him to wait in the outer office. Alex, I, I want you to know how terribly important it is to me that you make Dennis like you. But Iris, why all this urgency? Because he's become engaged. Engaged? That's wonderful. To Don Marshall, Alex. It's the worst thing that could possibly happen. As he gets closer to Don, he gets farther away from you, from us. We have to change his mind about you. We, you have to help me show him that, that Don is wrong about you. Don't you see? He just has to accept the idea of our being together. Darling, you know I want Dennis's friendship and approval, but things like this don't resolve themselves overnight. It takes time. I'm not sure how much time we have. And Iris, it may not happen at all. Sometimes, sons and daughters, you know, they, they may not agree or accept their mother's decision. And even if they're Dennis's age. Oh, I know, I know. I've been watching Rena cook and the things she's putting Victoria through. And why go on so about Dennis's approval? There is a reason, Alex. But please, we'll... Can we talk about that later? Dennis is waiting, and I... I had a hard enough time getting him over here. All right. We'll give it a try. Yeah. Ask him to come in. I know you two have already seen each other, but please, let's... let's put that behind us and start fresh. Alex Wheeler, this is my son, Dennis Carrington. Good to meet you, Dennis. Look who just came in. Well, what do you know? A visitation. I'd better take care of this personally. Mm -hmm. I'll take over, Alfredo. Of course, Mr. Alex. Carrington. Good to see you again. Hello. Mrs. Carrington. Dennis. <laughs> right this way, and I'll show you the best table in the house. I want the whole room to see what a lovely lady you brought along. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Curtis. Do fine, Clipper. Well, I hope so. After all, it, uh, it's not often we get to see you twice in the same week. Uh, I used to think that a businessman who stopped for lunch was a fool, but uh, Iris has convinced me it's the other way around. <laughs> it's about time. <laughs> well, if there's anything I can do for you, just holler. Have a good lunch. Dennis, I'm glad to have this chance to really meet you and talk with you. When I made the offer on Mike Marshall's house, Dennis, I made what I consider a very generous offer to help the family out. Well, it's easy to be generous when you've just raked in all the chips. Throwing a few back doesn't hurt at all. Dennis. Iris, let me talk to Dennis. Look, you can both talk to your blue in the face. You're not going to change my mind. I'm sorry you feel that way. But whether I change your mind or not, I do understand the Marshal's reactions to Mike's suicide. And I understand Dawn's reaction to Mike's suicide. How could you possibly understand Dawn's reactions? I understand because I felt the same myself. I've had to live with the fact that I didn't realize how desperate Mike really was. Well, then you must have been blind. Really, Dennis? It's all right, Iris. I was blind. I was so obsessed by my vision that I shut out other people's dreams, their lives. And now I know that was wrong. Yeah, well, it's a little late now, isn't it? I hope not. And I hope I can convince you and, and Dawn of what Kate Marshall already knows, that I never meant to harm Mike, that I would do anything in my power to help the family out. Then you stay out of their lives. Dennis. Alex has made an extremely generous offer on the River Oaks house, and he's freed the ranch of all debts. 
I'm sure he'd be glad to help the family in any other way he can, and to help you. Yes. If there's anything you know that I can do, if I can be of any assistance hey, to man. you and Don and getting your lives together. What is this? You offering me a bribe? No. Dennis, I'm ashamed of you. That's the most insulting thing yeah, I have ever heard. It's pretty had. insulting, isn't it, Mom, to be offered a bribe? Or would you call it something else? I'd call it a generous offer. Your mother tells me that you're thinking about buying Western art. I, I'd like to help you out. No, thanks. You know you can't afford to buy the gallery without help from me or from Alex. Why are you being so stubborn? Because Dawn would spit on anything this man gave her. And she'd do the same thing to me if I accepted anything from him. Well, it looks as if we've said everything we can say without getting into a shouting match. Mom, it was good seeing you again. Good seeing Mr. you. Mr. Wheeler, thanks for the invitation to lunch. I really couldn't tell you what we had. I was so preoccupied. I'm sure it was all very expensive. Please. Dennis, I'd like to do this more often, and I think your mother agrees. And son, I wish you'd call me Alex. I am not your son. Don't call me that. I'm sorry. Just a way of speaking. I love your mother so much that I feel very close to you. And I'd like you to feel the same about me. <laughs> well, I'm sorry, Mr. Wheeler, but the feeling isn't mutual. Dad. Mom, look, I came here with you because you insisted upon it, and I listened to everything. You did not I, listen. I listened to everything, including everything Mr. Wheeler had to say here, and none of it's made any difference. Because Mr. You're Wheeler, so I'll tell you. I'll tell you. I came here and listened to my mother because she wanted me to be here with you. And she told me that if you're going to have a close relationship, well, anyway, you can have that close relationship if you want it. That doesn't matter to me, but my life is with Don Marshall. That child. Look, Mom, and if it means us being separated, then, then that's the way it has to be. Did I'll see you later, Mr. Wheeler. Alex? Iris, he's got to lead his own life. You've got to let him. I would if he were leading it, but he's not. He's being led around by the nose by that terrible girl. Somehow I have to get him free. Iris, I don't understand why you're so determined to force Dennis and me together. He needs a father. Someone he can look up to. I'm determined that he accept you as that. And someday he will. I promise you that. 